bottom, the bottom, to the top, to the top. Ungrateful, I'm not, I'm not. Long journey, long journey, lot of snakes, lot of snakes. Ramen noodles, ramen noodles, the big steaks. I'm so sorry. What's up, guys? It's me, Quentin Marcellus. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a long time since you guys have seen me on YouTube. And um, I'm really excited to be back. There's so many different things that I'm working on and so many different things that I've been through and I wanted to address it in this video. So the last time I made a YouTube video was my birthday and I turned 26. Um, I started working on my mixtape Days in the Midwest um, at the beginning of last year in 2017. And I wanna thank everybody who has listened to my mixtape on SoundCloud, who's listened to my mixtape on datpiff.com and also on YouTube. And I have a single on, Care on iTunes called Carefree Black Boy, and I want to thank people for downloading that too and checking it out. Um, but overall, just I just want to say thank you. If you support me, if you came to one of my shows before, if you are just getting to know about me, and if you are, um, you know, supporting me in any way, I just want to thank you because it hasn't been easy. You know, um, I've been through a lot, and I think that. I didn't realize what I was getting myself into until I started making music and until I started to pursue my dreams. And then I started to realize that uh, it would require so much of me and so much growth and so much um, maturity that I needed to develop in order to pursue my dreams. So pretty much um, Days in the Midwest um, kind of came about beginning of 2017. Um, I was kind of in a place in my life where I knew what I wanted to do with my life, but I really wasn't, um, you know, I didn't have the confidence to go after it. I was very just trying to figure things out and trying to, uh, you know, more so listening to other people than listening to myself. And so one day I just woke up and I said, you know what, music is something I've always wanted to do. I grew up singing in church. I grew up in a lot of performing arts groups in high school and in um, middle school and elementary school. and. Uh, a lot of people don't know that about me because of my insecurities, because I'm so private about my about my talent, I guess, and I'm just still learning how to get out of my shell, and I'm still learning how to put myself out there. But I want to show you guys some footage of me when I was um, in the early stages of recording my mixtape. Um, my producer's name is Soul Ray, and uh, this footage that you're about to see was uh, pretty much just me when I was just in the very beginning stages of it all, like writing my songs and recording my, uh, my song, Black Wall Street, which was the last song on my mixtape. And, uh, you know, it, it's just very personal footage and footage that I haven't shown anybody. So check it out. Cause my man, the name is on fleek. You can't catch me. Strut, take down Black Wall Street. Yeah. Cause my man, the name is on fleek. You can't catch me. Strutting down Black Wall Street. Oh, straight to the barber shop. No white or colored signs. Bobs won't stop this money. No, pinstripe black suits, dress shoes and ties, feather hats, fur coats, heels so high. Black excellence, focused energy. Yeah, cause my Marilyn's bars won't stop this money. No, no. When I was recording this, everything was kind of coming to me. The lyrics were coming to me. Um, I didn't even know I could write songs until I just started, you know, putting my mind to it, you know what I mean? And I realized that I'm really gifted at writing songs. I wrote every single song on my project, and the first song that I wrote actually was Carefree Black Boy. And Carefree Black Boy actually is 
uh, the single from my album that I'm going to be releasing this year called Carefree Black Boy. And so um, I, that was my first song that I've ever wrote. And I put that on iTunes um, on my birthday when I was 25 um, on December 9th. And uh, after that, you know, I started, you know, coming up with these different ideas for Days in the Midwest. And Days in the Midwest, I'm just so proud of. I have so many different things that I want to, uh, I'm still doing, I'm still creating for the project. And, uh, you know, Days in the Midwest pretty much is just about me. It's the beginning stages of just getting to know me as an artist. Uh, a lot of it is a lot of pain. A lot of it is passion. A lot of it is um, my heart. And uh, especially the poem, um, Back to the Midwest, which is track one. It's very personal. It's very deep to me. My aunt actually is um, on the poem as well. She's the, the voice that you hear at the very end. And um, also, uh, she's reciting a poem by Maya Angelou called Still I Rise. And um, I'm also a very spiritual person and I incorporate a lot of spirituality in my music. And I incorporate a lot of spirituality in myself as, a, as an artist. You know, I want to be an artist that not only about music and just about having fun and just about, um, you know, being with the trend, but I want to be an artist that puts spiritual messages in my music because at the end of the day, I feel like that's my purpose is to uplift people that are going through the same things I'm going through and just, you know, I feel like if you don't take anything away from me, take away that, you know, you can do whatever you want to do, whatever you put your mind to, whatever it is that you're passionate about in life, whatever it is that your spirit is calling you to do is what you're supposed to be doing. And you have to listen to that inner voice and that's something I had to learn. And you know, I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel. I've always wanted to record YouTube videos. And I remember when um, one of my friends um, from back home, Tulsa, um, was helping me to record some of the first video footage um, on YouTube that I was gonna put, put out. I was super you know, critical of it and super hard on myself. And I kind of want to show you guys that as well. So just so you can kind of get an idea of kind of just kind of what, it, what the process and where I was at in my head and what I was, you know, afraid of putting out because I deal with, you know, anxiety, I deal with depression sometimes, and I'm also a perfectionist. And so those three things I'm always battling and I'm always hard on myself. And I kind of want people to now know those things about me because I know that other people are dealing with the same thing. And I want to inspire them to, you know, to push past it. So check out some of this video footage of me when I was, you know, trying to figure it all out. And I was really trying to get over my fear of, you know, recording and, you know, making videos. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So yeah, check it out. What's up? It's your boy Prince Q. And I'm super excited to drop my mixtape Days in the Midwest. I've worked really hard on it for a long time. And I really feel like this is the perfect way to introduce me as an artist and just my sound and who I am and what I'm about. And uh, one of my favorite songs on the album is, or mixtape I should say, is called Four Wings. Um, my friend that I grew up with in church, she's a music producer and she actually created that beat for me and I really like it. it. I just feel like it's a great opener and for me it's the song on my mixtape that really stood out and I'm really proud of myself for it. And um, I can't wait for you guys to hear that and check it out. And um, yeah. I feel like coming back to Tulsa has helped me to grow. I feel like coming back to Tulsa has been a great change for me and the best decision for me. Because I lived in New York for about three years and um, you know, I learned a lot in New York that helped me to be successful here in my hometown. Like I've got more opportunities here in Tulsa than I've got in New York City, which is really crazy. But you know, it just go. it just kind of comes down to the fact that, you know, what God has for you is for you. Like, what God has for me is for me. What the universe has for me is for me. And it doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter what you've been through. Nothing's going to ever hinder that. You're always going to get what God has for you. You're always gonna get what you deserve. You just have to work hard and you just have to, you know, continue to motivate yourself, continue to believe in yourself and know that you can do whatever the fuck you wanna do. You just gotta put your mind to it and black out negativity and stay focused. Surround yourself around the right people and be willing for change and letting people go. Those are the things I learned, you know, coming back. And Days in the Midwest is pretty much just, you know, 
just a piece of my heart, to be honest with you. That's the only thing I can honestly say because I put a lot of my feelings and my emotions into this project, you know, with some of the songs that I made. So I'm excited for you guys to check it out and hear it and to kind of get a feel for who I am and what I'm about. Days in the Midwest, look out for it. Coming out this summer, so let's get it popping. So as I was wrapping up, uh, recording my mixtape days in the Midwest, I started to network with other people. I started to perform at local bars and perform at um, open mics, um, like this place called uh, this place called the Yeti, and they have an open mic on Monday. It's called the Situation. So I used to perform there a lot, and I started to meet people. I started to make different connections. I started to have different open mic shows, and I met this um, person named Nehemiah. He was in the industry as well, and he pretty much kind of just took me in as a little brother. Shout out to Nehemiah, and uh, he, you know, listened to my music. He was kind of coaching me through everything and kind of grooming me. And he actually used to be an artist as well here in Tulsa, but he kind of um, decided that he wanted to pursue other things. But uh, it was with the help of him in the beginning of me learning how to perform and me learning how to get out there that he was able to help me book my first big show, which was at his grand opening for his um, company called the Black Wall Street Times, which is a news and media outlet here in Tulsa that's growing and becoming really big, and I'm super proud of him. And, um, you know, I got an opportunity to perform for the first time on stage in front of a big audience of people. My music that I wrote and recorded, and I was super nervous, super scared, of course, but a part of me has always known that this is my calling, this is what I want to do, so I was ready. And... Uh, when I actually did it, and I got the footage back, I didn't like it. I didn't like the way I looked, I didn't like the way I sounded. I felt like, uh, you know, I was being super hard and critical on every detail of everything. And I started to realize that if I wanna be an artist, I gotta relax, I gotta stop being so hard on myself, I gotta start being, stop being so critical of myself and, uh, you know, learn how to make mistakes and learn how to, you know, get through things through trial and error and you know make progress. But I wanna show you guys this footage and I'm actually kind of shocked that I never have shown anybody this because I was being so hard and critical of my performance of just the way I sounded. And you know, it was my first time performing this song which is Black Wall Street from Days in the Midwest. It's track 11, the last track, but uh, check it out. And you know, this is something that I haven't shown or you know, put online. So I think that, you know, it's, just very special because it marks the beginning of me as an artist. Check it out. I'm about to sing you guys a song for my mixtape coming out in July. It's called Days in the Midwest. So hope you enjoy. Oh, they sleep. On me, don't leave. You can't catch me strutting down Black Wall Street. Oh, straight to highs. Better has for gold hills so high. Black excellence, focus, energy. Yeah, it's my destiny. It's all. The next opportunity I got was this opportunity to perform at this marathon called Route 66. And um, I remember when, um, you know, I was just stressing so much about all these different things that I started to get back to back because, of course, I didn't have anybody managing me. 
I didn't have anybody really guiding me and kind of telling me what to do next or how to do it. So everything was pretty much just on me and I had to figure it out as I went. And I invited a lot of people to this performance and only one person showed up. And I feel like that taught me a lot as well. It taught me who really cares about me. It taught me who really supports me. It taught me that uh, who that there's gonna be a lot of, you know, there's gonna be a lot of stress, there's gonna be a lot of anxiety, there's gonna be a lot of, um, you know, pressure points in my life that I'm gonna have to like overcome in order to be successful. I'm gonna have to start letting go of the fact that I'm getting in my own way. I have to let go of who's not at my show or who's not supporting me. I have to let go of the numbers and just focus on making moves. And, you know, it, last year was hard Last year was amazing. Last year was a big step in my life because I feel like for the first time I've done something that I'm actually proud of. I've done something that I wanted to do and that was releasing Days in the Midwest. And, um, you know, I want people to really dissect my mixtape. I, I want people to really uh, sit with it and, you know, listen to it a lot of times before I release new music because I want people to really know who I am is to feel my pain through all of my songs. But at the same time, it's not a, you know, a sad and depressing music project. It's also very uplifting. And one of my favorite songs is Four Wings, which is track two. And uh, Four Wings is like, just about letting go of negativity, letting go of stress, letting go of anxiety, and just becoming one with your higher self, connecting with the universe, and, you know, following your calling, following, following your passion. and staying focused and just knowing that everything is coming to you. Everything's not gonna always make sense, but it doesn't have to make sense. Sometimes you just have to go with the flow. Sometimes you have to trust your process. You have to trust your journey um, and not question it. And just, you know, life is, I'm learning about the journey. It's about the struggle. It's about, it's about what it takes to have all, everything you want because it's not gonna come easy. And that's something that I'm learning and uh, I'm learning a lot of stuff about just how to be a businessman, how to be an entrepreneur, how to work for myself. So I'm on a journey. I don't know exactly where my journey is headed, but I know that as long as I have myself, as long as I have the right people around me, as long as I am connected to the universe, as long as I know that I am unlimited and I have unlimited potential. I know that I can do whatever I put my mind to. And uh, I've proven that. And, uh, you know, I started to attract people that, you know, started to feel my confidence and started to see my potential. And I got another opportunity performing at this club called The Eagle later on in the year after I released my mixtape. And I actually released my mixtape on August 26th after the performance I did at the Black Wall Street Times grand opening and uh, I didn't really have a big, you know, like release. It was just very much just, I just put it out, you know what I mean? I didn't have a big party. I wasn't being flashy about it. I just kind of released it. And, uh, you know, again, I kind of had just all this anxiety built up about likes, about followers and about all these different things that I felt like I had to have in order to release my, my first music project. But it's not, it's not about that because what God has for me is for me. And I've realized that, you know, even when I didn't see opportunities, opportunities started to show up and I started to realize that I am on the right path. I just have to stay focused. I just have to stay motivated. I got to let go of all the things that are holding me back from being my best self. But anyway, I want to show you guys this footage of me performing at this club called The Eagle. And um, it was one of my favorite shows so far that I've done of my mixtape. Uh, and I had a really good turnout of people that came. A lot of my friends came out and it was just so bomb. Like I felt so good about myself and I felt like I had a lot of confidence on stage. The only thing is I didn't like this footage either. I felt some type of way about just the video quality and the lighting and all that perfection stuff that comes into play whenever you're recording a video or taking a picture. So 
Um, now I look back on it, I'm like, man, why didn't I release this? And again, it's just me, I feel like getting in my own way and being my own worst enemy. And I'm really, uh, I'm really now realizing that. So I know that uh, this was just such a moment for me. Um, and I want you guys to check it out. Good morning, universe. for you guys to come along for the journey I this summer is gonna be really big for me I have a performance coming up at this place called the venue in Oklahoma City on May the 19th It's for this tour called the showcase tour and I'm going to be singing um, on stage for about 10 minutes and I hope you guys can come out it's gonna be at 7 o'clock 
I'm gonna be selling tickets. So definitely check my social media for that. And also I'm gonna be performing at Soul Surprise, and that's gonna be June 1st. And you don't wanna miss that. That's gonna be a really big show. Through this whole process that is still unfolding for me right now, like I literally don't know what I'm doing. And I'm just taking it day by day and learning things as I go. I'm learning how to just study my craft and perfect my craft. And I'm learning to connect with people that see the greatness that I see within myself and I can reflect that back into them. And I feel like that's what a friendship is. I feel like that's what connecting with people is, is people helping you to see your own greatness. Cause sometimes you're not gonna see it and sometimes you're gonna need help. And I can't do everything by myself, but I feel like I'm learning that a lot of it is gonna come from me. So, you know, I can't wait for you guys to just to really just see the journey unfold and I want to take you guys along with me. I want to take you guys along with my performances. I want to take you guys along to, you know, my road trips to different shows. I want to take you guys along with me to the studio now and so much stuff I want to share. So there's so much stuff coming your way and you haven't seen the last of me. Don't, don't sleep with me at all because I'm going to wake you up. Well, no, I don't like that last part. <laughs> Carefree black boy, carefree black boy, I'm still looking, searching, finding. From OK to NYC, I make the universe bend for me. Whether on a cloud or on my feet, I will defeat, I'll never weep. Carefree, black boy, I'm still looking, searching, finding.